congratulations on a, a highlight reel finish. What's, Thank uh, you. What's the feel like for you right now? Uh, it's it's amazing. Couldn't have asked for obviously a better a better finish to Flight Island. So I I really really enjoy this. Yeah. It's great. Obviously, kind of just getting started in your UFC career, but to you know to beat a guy like that, an undefeated guy coming yeah. in, does that add anything to it for you? Absolutely. You know, I was you know everyone online was saying they had me as like the underdog, and you know this, he should have walked through me, he should have did that. You know, everyone's messaging me, you know, watch for his clinch and all that. But, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. When I start throwing my hands, I'm, I'm like I said before, I'm, 90, I'm faster than 95% of the heavyweights out there, and you, you're not going to be able to put your hands on me. So. You said you were surprised you came out southpaw. I mean, did you, was, did you have to make, like, adjustments in your head on the fly? Absolutely not. Like I said before, my brother is a southpaw through and through. So I trained with him 24-7. So it was actually better that he came out southpaw. I was actually really enjoying that he was actually southpaw. So it's the first time I ever fought someone who switched. So I was happy about it. That's awesome. Yep. Uh, obviously, you're no stranger to the knockout. But did you no. think in your head that there was a chance? I bet we can go in there and get this thing done in less than a minute. No, absolutely not. No, I was expecting him to maybe, like I said before, you know, come out, test the waters a little bit, you know, with his hands. Um, as he did, I just didn't expect that I was I would connect that quickly, you know. And then I was I was expecting him to kind of like the bum Russians, you know, maybe double under hooks, you know, his outside trips, and then I'd be working to get up. But you know, I couldn't ask for anything better. So yeah. we're pretty sure uh, Joaquin just grabbed fifty thousand uh dollars. -huh, a thousand percent, that dude. <laughs> a thousand percent, that dude got fifty grand. You, but you might as well. What I the, don't. I don't know. Not. Not with that. Not with that. That was amazing. That was. That was the craziest thing. I was. I was in the back, and my coach started screaming and jumping up and down, and I. I, I missed him first off because I was just getting ready, and then I watched. It, I was like, damn, this dude just just beat me out of 50 G's. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, uh, I know you said you'll be in your, your brother's corner next, yep. but as far as your own career, I mean, what do you see? Do you want to fight again before the end of the year? Is there a name? Is there a date? No. What makes sense for you? No, that, no. I, uh, I definitely owe my wife and my son some time off, so uh, focus on, you know, going out there, getting my brother ready for his camp, cornering him in his fight. Uh, once we come home, enjoy the holidays, start out fresh next year. You know, whenever the UFC has cards listed for next year, I'll, you know, check out the dates, and then we'll, we'll get to talking. You have a black belt in BJJ, right? I do. I just received that from the gentleman in the back, Will Martinez. So w knowing that, was there any, like, maybe I want to show off what I have in the Octagon 2 and not put him away in, like, less than a minute with your hands? No, no, <laughs> absolutely not, no. I mean, yeah, it, it's cool to choke people unconscious, but it's a lot cooler to knock them out and make people talk about you four or five, you know, days down the road, you know, and, and obviously I'm not getting the 50 Gs, but it's cooler to be able to you know, possibly get the 50 Gs. But it, it's something that I have in my back pocket just in case, you know, my striking isn't, isn't up to snuff against the guy. And he just, you know, he decides to take me down or whatever, and I, I fall down doing a stupid head kick or something like that. So, but. Did you walk out, walk out to Fox on the Run? Yes, I did. Any particular reason? Nope. Just nope. like that song? Just like it. Just hold the whole, like, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack, you know, we have Funky Friday up in Philadelphia. It's awesome. Funky Friday, 88.5. It's like from 4 to 6 p.m. It's awesome, especially at work when I'm driving around. Nothing better. Perfect. Nothing better. Congrats. Thanks, man. All good? Perfect. Thanks, guys.